The story is told of a young couple who were desperate to have children. They went to the Baal Shem Tov, the holy Baal Shem Tov, and they asked him for a blessing. And he ignored them. Heartbroken, the couple went home, they tried everything, but they weren't able to have children. A year goes by, they went again to the Baal Shem Tov, and again he ignored them. And like this, years and years go by until 10 years down the line, the couple is so desperate, they come to the Baal Shem Tov and they beg him from the depths of their heart to pray for them for a blessing for a child. And he looks at them and he says, within a year, I promise you, you will have a child. The couple was so happy and sure enough, a miracle happens. The woman becomes pregnant and after a year, she gives birth to a child. The couple is so happy, ecstatic. Um, overjoyed. Two years pass on the child's second birthday. Unfortunately, the child dies. The couple is heartbroken, devastated. And they go back to the Baal Shem Tov and they say to him, can you please tell us what's going on? You gave us a blessing. And now the child died. And the Baal Shem Tov looks at them and he said, let me tell you a story. Many years ago, there was a king and queen who didn't have any children. And one day the king goes to the priest and he tells him, can you please pray for me that I have a child? What do I do? I want an heir to the throne. And the priest looks at the king and he says to him, you know what, I have an idea for you. If you tell the Jews that it was if within a year you don't give birth to a child, you will banish them from your kingdom. I promise you they will pray to their God. They will pray so hard that God will hearken to their prayers and you will have a child. And so the king issued an edict. He said, if I don't have a child within a year, every single Jew is banished from my kingdom. And so the Jews went and prayed and prayed and davened to Hashem to bless the king and queen with a child. And sure enough, in heaven there was a commotion. Somebody, a soul, had to go down to descend to this false world from the world of truth. And, there was, and nobody wanted to besides for one lofty, noble soul, which said, I am willing to sacrifice this beautiful, pleasurable, spiritual world and go down to save the Jews. And so the king and queen were blessed with a child, this holy, holy soul. At the age of two, the king and queen saw that their child was brilliant and they hired him a private tutor who taught him for several, multi, m many years. The tutor loved the child and the child loved the tutor. The tutor taught him everything, mathematics, science, geography, history, everything. The tutor was with the child most of the day. But for two hours every day, the teacher told the child, you are not to disturb me, don't come near me. And eventually the child grew inquisitive. He wondered what was his teacher doing in seclusion in his room during those two hours when nobody was allowed to disturb him. And so one day he hid inside the room and he's watching what does his teacher do. And he sees his teacher don a strange looking what was a talus and tefillin on his head and he was praying. And so he went out of his hiding place and he said, what is this? And the teacher had to confess, I'm a Jew. And the child said, teach me what it means to be a Jew. And the teacher said, if I do that, the king will kill me. And he said, if you don't, I will tell the king you're a Jew and he will kill you as well. So the teacher started teaching the child Torah. He taught him Chumash and Mishnah and Gemara and Talmud and Kabbalah and everything about Judaism. And eventually the child says to him, I want to convert, I want to be a Jew. And the teacher tells him, that's very dangerous, the king will kill me and he won't approve of this. And so they devise a plan because the child is adamant that he wants to convert. They escape the kingdom. And the child gives up a life of luxury, a life of inheriting the throne, of being rich and famous and powerful, to become a poverty-stricken Jew somewhere in another kingdom. And the child lives out his life. And when the child goes to heaven, the gates of heaven of paradise are open to him. And they said, such a lofty soul who, number one, came down to this world to save the Jews. And number two, gave up a life of riches for Torah and mitzvot. Surely the gates of paradise should be open for him. But then one soul came to this and said, one angel said, that this soul, this child, for the first two years of his life, nursed from a non-Jewish woman. 
and he ate non-Jewish milk tray. So he needs to come back down to this world for two years to nurse from a Jewish mother, to eat kosher food, to rectify that mistake. And the Baal Shem Tov looks at this couple and he says, you guys were chosen for this task, for this mission. You should know that this child is your child. This soul is your child. And you, through these two years of nurturing him, of feeding him, you have given him the greatest gift of eternal spiritual bliss in heaven. That is the beautiful story, my friends. Please share your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed it.